this video is intended for audiences who are 13 and over. If you are not 13 and over, please fuck off and tell your parents to moderate what you watch online. You know, I'm glad they aged up Luna in this in the last episode so that the scene with Storius talking to her didn't feel really creepy in context now. Right? Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. Look, look, look. Storius was just gripping her, all right? That's how he that's how he interacts with every person. Old, young, Italian, LGBT. Oh, right. <laughs> Give them them tummy rubs. Oh. That's right. That's I'll how, touch Storius them on the like, stomach how... and it's totally normal. Everybody likes to touch on the tummy. <laughs> I'm just, I'm not gonna say anything to In New York! New York! I just knew it. You just knew <laughs> it? You just knew that New York would be coming up? Yeah, I think I did, yeah. <laughs> Listen, America's governor... <laughs> back at it no. again. <laughs> listen, handling up. Listen, if there's one thing I know about uh, New York, right? It's that any time mm -hmm. that someone who's a government of leader of New York uh, uh, winds up uh, really leading the charge on on some kind of crisis, uh, some kind of international crisis, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. they are absolutely always going to be a completely sane and 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 like intelligent and like non-creepy problematic person and not marry their cousin like they're gonna be totally mm -hmm. cool and not like molest their staff like they're Wait. always cool uh, did he actually marry his cousin no 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 not no 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 not not uh not uh gabagool not the first not this gabagool it's the last gabagool the mayor gabagool oh yeah the the leaking robot gabagool uh fucking oh. Married his. Look up the cut. Look up Giuliani cousins. <laughs> okay. Hey, wait. While you look up Ju uh, Rudy Giuliani's cousin, you should look up our weekly unnamed discussion series about Common Rider Saber. A weekly discussion series where I, Austin, a couple right. years along my token sauce car, try to find a segue to our weekly unnamed discussion series with my, with my good friend William. That's you, William. A person mm -hmm. with no knowledge mm -hmm. of, of the status of New York's, New York's public political system. As we're joined by our good friend and special guest, Tariq. As we talk about the latest Kamen Rider season, Kamen Rider Saber. Hey, this is episode 45 of 10 Swordsmen with, with the World on the Line. You know, I'm glad that, look, William, you wanted another female Kamen Rider. You got oh, it, right? God oh, damn damn it. True. it pissed me off so much. <laughs> what do you mean? It was hidden you know throughout what? the series. Oh, yeah. yeah From the very beginning, building. it was only, it has always been built up. It, I mean, if somebody was going, you know how, intended. how, and yep. at the beginning and the ending of every episode, she's always probably featured with the other main characters looking like she would totally become a, a Kamen Rider? Oh yeah, my god. But they hit it, it's all right? So, what? I don't. Uh, okay. Because... Boy, it is really bad. God. It's... See, this goes back to my original theory how I wish Kuriyama was just a fucking sentient sword that lives. Much right? like, like, much like Yuri. Yeah. Right? Look, if Yuri could be a sentient sword, they should have just made Kuriyama a sentient sword and made him as just. Like, even though the series has a fuck ton of character, just make his own character. I'm just Kuriyami the sword. Don't need to explain anything else. I'm just a fucking... I'm just another talking sword, alright? No, I'm just... I'm just... Like... Half the season, she's gone. She's not involved. She's just... Listen, COVID... Right? Hey, no, listen. What do you mean? She was off COVID ready to COVID takes people out all the time. Bro. COVID takes people out all the time. Listen, yeah, I said it before. She, she, she got taken out by up, COVID. Like, she didn't get taken out by COVID, though. That Sophia might have. Oh well, that's true. In 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 Kamen Rider, much like the Tokyo Olympics, COVID doesn't exist. Yeah, <laughs> you keep that quiet. You you shut your goddamn whore mouth, Americans. Yeah. Oh my. Yeah. God. Don't don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask about it. Yeah. Don't ask how dare you smoke? Our, how our dare own. you smoke that 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 fucking devil's lettuce? Uh, yeah. There is this no. There's what, no. What, what there is no Putin COVID in Boston. Saying. Interview and deflect. Just deflect it. What? Why are you talking about? Why? Why should Japan? be talking about is public is public of uh, of uh, vaccines when america can't talk about its racism or right? just or just or when britain can't get a goddamn fucking 
Gundam right. Ooh! Ooh, let me go off on this for a second. Ooh! Okay. Well, fuck right. you, Britain. Uh, fuck you, Britain. Okay, yes. I hope... You know, you know what? You deserve Brexit, you stupid pieces of shit. You <laughs> stupid pieces of shit. You can't even get your god... You don't have enough people with enough fucking goddamn worldview to know that a fucking Gundam is going around. God damn it. It's a... It's... Oh. It's literally... It's... It's Gundam-based Odaiba. It's... Odaiba is... How do you fuck that up? How do you fuck that up? I get it, right? The Unicorn Gundam, the life-size Unicorn Gundam, transforms. Fucking awesome. Cool. Awesome. Cool. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> yeah. Also, it literally says diver-based, like, Tokyo on the side. How do you... <laughs> how do you... Jesus. Like, it, does everybody yeah. understand what I'm fucking referring to? No, yes, I, I know. I know what you're referring to. Oh, okay. To. Okay. Great, William. Let me inform you. Let me inform you on the wonder, the wonder that is the BBC Twitter, all right? Let's go back. Uh -huh. Let's see if I can go back and find the exact tweet from when it came out. Because go fuck yourself, BBC. Had to fucking hit me in the goddamn morning. This piece of shit, fucking awful. Oh, boy. Let's see. Hmm. Okay, boy. Gotta go switch to Twitter accounts. Gotta go fucking find my notifications. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Uh, da 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 da. There's a lot of Gundam oh, yep, yep, tweets there it is, over here. There it is. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, you just yep, got it for me. Yep, cool. I googled it. Oh no, I know. I I found an article. I can't find a tweet. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm uh, to find are you putting it in or? Yeah, I was waiting for the link. I was waiting for. Uh, I was thinking I'll that I was going to put okay. it in at this point. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Hey, hey, hey. Just like Sophia, I, I look. My expectation was not as expected. All right. I'm trying to load this fucking news article. Oh, uh, you know what? Here, I'll just. Okay. Oh no, here it's okay. I've got a link for it. I've got a link. I've got a link for a whole anime news network article about it. Here you <laughs> go, William. Here you go. Here you go. I'm uh -huh. gonna put this right the fuck in here. Well, all yeah. right. Nope, that's the there wrong thing. Oops, oh. that's for later. That's for later. I have to talk about that too. Oh boy. Wait, you, you, you. If you don't know. No, 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 there's a thing about that in the fucking goddamn, oh boy, uh, ooh, that's different, that's different, that's different, that's different, that's different, that's different, uh, that's, As that's, a ska song? No, shh, shut up, shut up, shut up, I'll talk about that afterwards. <laughs> this is the first Olympics thing, this is the other Olympics no, thing that I meant, this is what I was talking about. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna read the ska thing later. No, 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 the ska thing is actually really fucking important to talk about. Oh my like, god. Like, unironically. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh. It's so, so, it so in Odaiba, right? So, Odaiba has, like, mm. basically, you know how... Remember in how in New York they had the, like, Toys R Us that had the, the Ferris wheel inside of it? Like, the big-ass fucking Toys R Us that was, like... Like, that was a big thing back, like, 15 years ago, some shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, and, like, like... It, Everything, everything that has a property, like there's, you know, there's the Pokemon centers in Japan. Like there's every franchise has mm -hmm. to have their thing. Gundam yeah, based right. yeah. Tokyo has, uh, it is like the Gundam, like Gunpla franchise hub. You go there, you want to buy fucking Gundams, and much like the fucking uh, statue of Jesus in Brazil, they had they built the like the first time that a life size Gundam was built, not the like one that can move now. The first time that the OG Granddaddy RX-78-2 Gundam was built uh, was in Odaiba at the Gundam Base Tokyo. And it was like, oh man, what a fucking... It was the first time we had a fucking life-size fucking Gundam. And that was between... That was built in like 2010, 2011? Uh, maybe it was... Two, it might have been 2009 for the anniversary, but I feel like it was 2010. Anyway, that went on for about five years. Uh, it, it had a stand there. Then, uh, 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 fucking, I mean, it's not Bandai necessarily, but, uh, Gundam was like, hey, uh, it, listen, we're all about the Unicorn Gundam now, because canonically, the Unicorn Gundam is, like, the ultimate successor to the original Gundam within the Universal Century timeline, blah, 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 blah. Uh, fucking new types, blah blah blah, fucking trippy ass time travel shit, fuck it, don't think about it too hard, it's Gundam. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so they built the Unicorn Gundam, 
as a life-size figure outside of it. And much like its original, it, like, it can light up and stuff, but the cool thing about the Unicorn Gundam is that, like, it has two forms, which are the quote-unquote unicorn mode, where the V-fin, like, folds, is folded in and, like, is a horn, and it doesn't have, like, the typical, like, the stereotypical Gundam eyes, it just has, like, a slit. Like, it, Mm -hmm. it, it basically morphs from, like, uh, being, like, uh, wimpy, like, uh, little, like, simp mode to literally ripped Chad mode. Like, all of the armor panels open up and, like, glowing red, like, panels show from the inside and it, uh, fucking murders people. Awesome, right? Uh, right. anyway, that's the best chance I can give them for calling this a fucking Transformer. Flash forward to fucking, uh, when was this? Fucking, uh, uh, uh last Friday? I don't remember. Uh, uh-huh. Uh, sixth. Uh, today's the eleventh. Let's see. Backtrack that. Check the calendar. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, Friday. Cool. Awesome. I'm perfect. Anyway, um, <laughs> so the BBC Twitter, uh, in an absolutely stunning turn of events, went, and a stunning example of reporting went on their Twitter and went, "Oh man, rock climbing is tough, but imagine having a transformer staring at you." And <laughs> everyone was like, deservedly went. You fucking, fucking, plain ass, you Rhea Jew, you fucking plain ass motherfuckers, you goddamn noobs, you NPCs, you, you people, you, you're what's wrong with the world. And they went, how dare you, BBC. And then the BBC tried to downplay it. They tried to fucking cover their fucking tracks and go... Okay, 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 we see what we did here, we see what's happening, but who would win in a fight? A Gundam or a Transformer? Oh, not God. like a death battle, but not like <laughs> death battle exists, where they literally put the RX-78-2 versus Optimus Prime. Mind you, Optimus Prime would get fucking demolished by the fucking RX-0 Unicorn, because the Unicorn has better weapons and is, like, is like piloted by fucking thought. It doesn't fucking matter. It's just out of control. It's a it. There's literally a whole movie about how one of the fucking units of it just goes on its own and is piloted simply by the ghost of its dead pilot. It's just it absorbs people basically. It's it doesn't exist on like natural laws. Physics don't work on it. It's not real, right? Mm-hmm. right you can't right, right. backtrack that and go. Oh, whoopsie! Ha ha ha! We just, we called it a Transformer, but, oh, you know us. No, fuck you, BBC. I hope your country burns in the fucking bottom of the lake. Like, fucking, I hope King Arthur retroactively fails to do whatever the fuck King Arthur did. Fuck the Green Knight. Fuck Merlin. Fuck everything else. Burn in hell. Jesus. Tell us more about best part. This is actually relevant because King, because uh-huh. Britain is home of the sword, the, the King King Arthur legend, and it features the sword Excalibur, which is the uh-huh. name of one of the common writers uh-huh. in the series of common writer Excalibur, and it is a <laughs> disappointment, just like how you were disappointed when Sophia became the new Excalibur. It all comes back. Talking about the Olympics, it always oh comes God. back. Oh, don't worry. Hold yeah, on. Well, comes- yeah. Hey. Speaking of uh, uh, females in the Olympics, that's a weird way to put that. But hey, uh huh. Okay. <laughs> Speaking right. of women in the Olympics, yeah. uh, everybody okay, see what a phrase is I, No, no. Oh, no, no. I'm bringing it right back to the Olympics because I accidentally posted that link too early. Hey. Uh-huh. Okay. Everybody's favorite musician. Everybody's favorite song. The goddamn opening from fucking Demon Slayer made its debut appearance for the world, for a lot of people in the world, by being the final song played at the fucking Olympics. Or at least played in the closing ceremony, right? Because weebs rule the world. Mm -hmm. Who do you think, who do you think played the, 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 the fucking, that, that played the goddamn Gurenge song? What do you mean? Like, who, what, like, it wasn't, well, I'll give you a hint. The vocalist, Lisa, who, like, plays the, who sings the song, was not the person right. who sang it. Who sang the song? I posted the link already, but who do you think post sang the song? Well, um, I don't know. You know what, you can I posted me. the link, William! Read the goddamn I know. link! There's no name! It's, okay, if you, you click the link, click the link! 
<laughs> no, I didn't click the link. I'm not finding it. It says the name in like the first line. At the first top. Line? Oh boy, he's really struggling to f fucking learn how to read. I'm not. Le I'm not seeing a name. What do you mean? It's Tokyo. right there. Oh, sorry, I missed it. So you see. All right. So no, no, no. I want you to say the name. <laughs> you mean okay? Because it's not like okay. Just so because I thought you okay, meant one person. I was looking for one person's name throughout all this. So I'm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. I should have said. To specify. I, I should have said, so, uh -huh. oh, what what people, fuck, who is a both singular, can refer to both singular and a group? It is not like, it does not have to refer to one specific person. Look, it's just because, I just thought it was going to be like that, alright? Well, yeah, but that's it, on I'm you, sorry. that's not on me, that's not on the article, that's not like the article didn't say anything, I'm just trying to not get gaslit here, William. Okay. All right. If that's fair. I'm just saying I didn't know. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I could tell. I, oh, trust me, trust I me, William. If there's myself. one thing I understood, I'm if there's sorry. one thing I understood, it's that you did not know. I assure you. If there's one thing that was clear, it's that you don't know. But, yeah, but this isn't Tokyo Ska Paradise Orchestra. Is interesting. Do you feel like you've seen? Do you feel like you've seen that name before? I don't know. You feel I like you've been either. hearing a lot of ska lately? Do you want to go to? Uh -huh. Do you want to go to uh -huh. um, three fifty in the uh, in in the in the episode and uh, pause Wait. and then let me translate Wait. for you. Three fifty. All right, let me go to three fifty. Uh, three fifty. Yeah, so what are you looking at right yeah. now? Okay, oh, okay. so I'm, I'll just share the screens just so that we can make this easier for, me, for us. Alright, so... Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Oh, you're sharing your screen. Uh, do you guys see oh, it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go, perfect. Yeah, let me translate that for you. Uh, so, on the on the left hand, I believe that's uh, the... Uh, that's the some producer, I don't know, the fucking fun producer, the, oh, music producer. Anyway, so the music producer, right, is on the left side, that's what the, uh -huh. the top, that, that top description is going over. Then on the right yeah. side, we have uh, the fucking, we have our, our theme song. It's Almighty. Uh, uh, common, yeah. no, uh, some fucking mystery fucking shit featuring, uh, I don't know, Kawamoto, some shit, I don't know, I could look this up. But anyway, just to tell you what it says below that, it says, mm -hmm. Tokyo Ska Paradise Orchestra. What the, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? How are these people real? So, in case you were wondering who played the closing ceremony and played the goddamn ah. fucking Demon Slayer fucking ending or opening, it was uh -huh. the Tokyo Ska Paradise Orchestra. Our favorite people. Back at it again. Ska will never die, motherfuckers. Hey, Aaron Barrett. Fucking Funhouse. Fucking goddamn. Ooh, chain wallets. Let's bring it all back. Are you going to bring back the old Ska code before reggae type of joke here? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, white people ruin everything. <laughs> oh my god, uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna argue it. <laughs> but, yeah. uh, but uh, anyway, <laughs> okay, so the episode <laughs> opens up. Hey, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we didn't, we didn't, because because uh, I got set off because we 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 got set off on technically two things that are definitely relevant to the show. Kind oh of. Oh my god. Kind of. Yeah. The, uh, the Olympics is already re relative to this show. Yeah. Like we look, the, we need the Olympics, all right? Yeah. This show rides. This podcast is rise or dies on the Olympics. Yeah, all right. Well, listen, we either got to get another Olympics or we got to get another coup attempt. Like it's one of the oh, two. We've got. We can only. God. We've had. Hey, I just want to split this out. We've technically had within the time recording this, we have commented on two different coup attempts. <laughs> Because there was the one in, uh, I want to say, uh -huh. it wasn't Malaysia. Was it Malaysia? Where the woman was yeah, doing the yeah. fucking... Uh, no, Myanmar. 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 Okay. Oh, I, knew Myanmar? It was an M, okay. I knew it was an M country. Yeah. But it was like, yeah. uh, oh, wow. where the woman did the fucking exercise video in the front of it. 
Like, we've gotten uh, two... Hey, listen, we've got... It's one of two things, right? You've either got to rock the world with either fucking uh, uh, goddamn tanks and guns, or uh, a, a, a fucking life-killing virus spreading its way, and a bunch of weeb shit incepting its way inside of it. Mm -hmm. Anyway, Sophia pops out of fucking nowhere in the beginning, yeah. and just says, I'm uh -huh. here to, as a swordsman. Nobody bats a fucking eye at this. They're just like, yeah, okay, cool. What? What? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's so they're, they're, fucking it's, stupid. It's, it's, it's just, it just like to me, it feels kind of like the you know you know the Make a Wish Foundation. Uh, it's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually true because she's dying. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh Jesus fuck! Christ. Oh fuck! Hey, shout out to Tyler the Great Warrior. <laughs> oh my god! Austin gets that joke. <laughs> It's yeah, just, I get that. Yeah, he does get that. I don't. It's okay though. We're all here yeah, having hey, a time. Hey, hey, well, hey, don't worry. At least they weren't sexist enough, uh -huh. right, to give the caliber suit a skirt. All right, because they love doing that. And we I get was kind of actually. It's just yeah, I was kind really? of skirt piece. Is that a thing? Wait, let's hold on. That's a okay. thing. Well, so in Sentai, uh -huh. in Sentai, so a few years. Uh, okay, hold on. This is actually ten years. Fuck, that season's ten years old. When Gokaiger, right? Right. So basically, you had female rangers that transform into male rangers, and male rangers that transform into rangers that were originally female. And what they would do if a female <laughs> ranger transformed into a ranger in the past, I was originally male. They just add a skirt piece onto her. Right, and if they had a male ranger uh -oh. transferred to a character, yeah, that was how they fixed things. Into a past ranger that was originally female, they just uh -huh. removed the skirt piece. It was pretty funny. All right, hey, at least they didn't <laughs> add a skirt piece to Caliber. All right. Oh, God. they could have though. Yeah. Imagine they could have. They were. It, it was really close. It was really did. close to it, honestly, in my mind. Yeah, I almost thought there was a skirt piece when I was talking, but then I realized no. This, I forget this suit just has a stupid piece of a uh, cloth hanging off the side. That's really bad plastic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, yeah. Like, anyway, uh, uh, once again, hey, also big fight scene, they, big fight. Yeah, we get big we get fight. big CGI fight. Yeah, lots of fighting. Uh, everybody is definitely not like. I mean, to be fair, like, <laughs> hey, how else are we going to make it look like we were able to hire hundreds of extras under uh, an increasingly like ignored like emergency orders put down in Japan, mm. like. Yeah. By the end, of, if if they really keep trying to like not like air or or not stop Common Rider's production, they're gonna be filming it mm -hmm. in like goddamn like the Ryukyu Islands. Like they're gonna be in fucking like they're gonna just find like the most remote. Like they're gonna be borrowing from Richard Branson to be like, listen, can we film in your like weird like island? Hey, you know that like weird fuck island that Jeffrey Epstein had? Uh, can we like <laughs> oh, film uh, there? Like. Because oh. <laughs> the, the Japanese government just, like, keeps on cracking down on us and telling us no. And we keep trying to, like, film this fucking children's, like, fighting show. I don't know why they keep saying that we should stop. Mm-hmm. Oh, my God. No one's on that island anymore, right? What? No, what? no, uh, I hope not. <laughs> I, just, I hope there's no yeah, I hope not. I hope it's someone's... Really I hope they're not. <laughs> Otherwise, nobody's feeding the slaves. Oh, my God. <laughs> because I just I don't know if like if the Jap the Japanese government could legitimately just buy that island. I don't know if they want mm. to. Why would they? No, can they buy the island? Uh, listen, nobody should be. <sighs> okay, William. I I hate to I mm -hmm. hate to explain a joke. Yeah, but no, I was being like facetious about the Jeffrey Epstein no, island. I get it. No, I get it. And I, I just, just I just, don't. Uh, it was a thought. I'm sorry, it was just an actual thought that happened in my head. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, don't worry, well, look, look, it's a thought, like, you're, it's like how a thought it was in the writer's head to bring back our favorite characters, the Four Sages, alright? The character that we spent so much time with. Mm -hmm. Also, what are those, what are those minions? Do, what do you do mean? Do we know what those Yeah, are? they've been there before, they're like the, they're like yeah. the Ant Megiddo or something. Really? Yeah, it's like those. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. We, yes, yes. So remember, long. I I literally brought this up before, where I was like, "Oh yeah, remember we had fucking like minions." Yeah, these are the foot the, the foot, foot soldiers that just aren't haven't been relevant for so fucking long. 
I, mm -hmm. I that completely they forgot, forgot about. about. Yes, they have yeah, not no, used the plot. Will, you mean in the series where they keep forgetting? Where stuff they keep introducing and they more and more characters? You mean that you th you forgot just like they did that there were fucking foot soldier characters? Oh god, well, you know what? Yeah, we'll play. We'll put the blame also. On, on the let's for this let's one. actually. I think this is kind of funny, right? Yeah. So in a show mm -hmm. like this with so many, so many characters, right? Uh, mm -hmm. so many, specifically common writers, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, they never felt like they had enough that they just needed to, um, they never felt like they had enough that they needed to, like, have either a Megiddo or one of, like, the Rowdy Rough Boys, or even fucking Master Logos, right? Like, send mm -hmm. out foot soldiers to, like, fight them. It's always been... As we said before, gang tactics of, like, four-on-one. Mm -hmm. Like, it's never... Like, no Megiddo has... If The only time that we've had multiple multiple people fighting multiple opponents has been multiple Megiddo fighting multiple Megiddo, or multiple Kamen Riders mm -hmm. fighting multiple Kamen Riders. It has never been, like... it. We've, we have... These guys showed up, like, in the fucking beginning. And that was it. So it's not your fault, William, that you don't remember it. It's theirs. I'm just saying, like... The fact that they put this many fucking con riders in it, and they didn't, like, go, you know what would be cool if we, like, used them? If we actually used these characters. But no. Mm -hmm. Instead, they were just like, uh, I don't know what, uh, yeah, everybody fights everybody. That's, that's what we're working with. Mm -hmm. Ah, oh, man. Anyway, uh, yeah, they're like, I, they're, I'm pretty sure that they are called Ant Megiddo. It's very stupid. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, so real quick, I just want to mention a shot that I actually kind of liked. I believe mm -hmm. what was uh, Kento was Izanagi, right? Yeah. Uh, no, yeah. Ikazuchi. Right. Ikazuchi. Yeah. Okay. Izanagi so, wouldn't be a different thing. Okay. So Ikazuchi, right? Yeah. So yeah, right. There was that one shot where I kind of where I liked this whole bit where the sword reflected on the other riders, and then we switched to the other riders. I want to mention that real quick. Oh yeah, that was a good shot. Right, right. So that was a really good shot, and I want to I want to move on to a discussion about Sophia and her nearly fucking dying, and how did she? Oh, no, no, no. no. She just got wow. She, she just got those heart palpitations. She just, you know, she no, just. Yeah, because it's almost like it's almost like she had a hard time breathing. Better ask Sophia whether or not she can still smell or taste. Mm hmm. It's, it's just, almost as if Sophia never had experience with a sword. Yet, and then suddenly get in contact with a sword that gives you perpetual PTSD nightmares. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, pre-TSD, pre-TSD, that's the real thing. Pre oh, yeah. <laughs> this is preparing her for trauma? Yeah, <laughs> that's how. That's what it did to Kento. It just kept oh, hitting oh, him. Oh, God. No, yeah, you're right, you're right. But my thing is just, like, the sword is supposed to help her, right? Mm, no, she's supposed yeah. to help everybody else. Yeah. So Yuri gave her the sword... Yuri let her use the fucking... Yuri let her use the sword with no again this is the problem with her just showing up and being like I'm going to fight here as a sword also let's let's be real clear here right let's be let's go over this again there was another sword she could have used instead of again the fucking nightmare sword which we already have canonically stated that Yuri was the original dual wielder of both Kuriyami and Psycho but instead, mm -hmm. they went, or at least mm -hmm. everybody's favorite fuckboy, Ren, was like, I don't have another sword. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the fuck <laughs> yeah, you're talking about. I, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, she can use the fucking nightmare sword. It's like... Oh my god. Oh yeah, you know, technically, that would keep her alive, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh boy, it's like there's a lot of plot holes in this. Oh my god. Also, what happened to the... U I forget his name, for the life of me. What happened to the guy who used the void sword? Oh, he Box Box is dead. Have yeah, you he died? Listen, right? look, yeah, uh, we uh, William, 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 William. <laughs> what? Yeah, Bach yeah. has been yeah. dead for years. He was a great composer, but he's been dead for centuries at this point. Yeah, but okay, you motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck what? You. What? Oh my god! I'm sorry that you aren't versed in like the history of music, but oh my god, Bach okay. has been dead for years. I'm sorry to tell you this. Oh Jesus! Anyway, 
<laughs> but anyway, yeah, I guess he decided uh, to die. He just decided to die, yeah. right? So, no, he decided to okay. stop being alive. Oh, he was oh, he like, just decided to he, stop. Being he was alive. like, uh, I don't want to be. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to be revived again. Please yeah. no. Okay. Because uh, the thing is, I thought he. I thought he had the he do not. He had the do not resuscitate very slid on after a certain point. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, the, because the thing is, I thought he legitimately said, oh, I can't wait to see what future you bring, right? That, he said yeah, that, right? Yeah, 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 he did. Yeah, he will be see? finding out from heaven. <laughs> He's the taking fuck? the big sleep. I swear, I swear to God, if he pops up at the end of the show, I'm gonna be so fucking mad. I'm like, we're ah, really gonna listen, he didn't, fight. he didn't pop up, he he didn't pop up at the end of fucking Common Rider Amazons, so I don't think he'll be mm -hmm. pop popping up at the end of this Common Rider. Oh my god. Also, I'm sorry. Who to knows? Watch it. I haven't finished the first episode, but I'm starting to watch it. <laughs> oh, oh, Amazon. Wait, what do you Amazon's. mean you started to watch the first episode but you haven't finished it? Because I know no, they're I'm like the, forty I'm... minute episodes, but like, how far have you gotten? I'm like 30 minutes in. I just didn't finish the last oh, one. Oh, okay. Man, yeah, I started watching cool. that on a fucking plane because the only thing that I could watch on a plane was like Amazon, like, was oh, Amazon like Prime, Prime videos. And Prime I was like, videos. fuck it, yeah. sure. <laughs> um, anyway, so, anyway, so we get this, so this episode is our typical, uh, the gang splits up and searches for, for clues. It basically yeah, searches, you know, like splits up and fights their respective uh -huh. enemies. But I, I never, how, how... I Oh no! You can go ahead and finish your thought. I'll give. I'll uh, thought in. Well, I was just gonna say I didn't expect it to be the like I didn't expect this spread. I didn't expect these like these matchups. Um, oh, uh -huh. Like I thought. Yeah, I can, there, uh -huh. yeah. There, like there were smarter matchups that could have been had. Like ha I think everything righted itself by the end of the episode, but I don't know why it went the way that it did at the beginning. Because um, mm -hmm. it seemed like whoever it seemed very random as uh, other than like the, the the siblings like fighting together it seemed very random as to who was fighting together against the against mm -hmm. against Storius's against the the sages right mm -hmm. yeah because it does like some team ups you think should happen but then they just don't for some reason no. yeah like, I oh, think uh, it, was, like it was it was um if I remember correctly it was uh Ren and what was his name it was again? Ren and, and Tetsuo that were the yeah, first, I keep, yeah. Yeah, I keep thinking yeah. it's not his name for some reason, but yeah. Well, yeah, yeah like, Akira kind of did like it first. Buster. But... You think it'd yeah, be Buster? Yeah, well, no, you think, like be, you think it would have been, you. well, Buster even would have made more sense, but you also would have thought it would be, um, it would have been Kento, right? That mm -hmm. was the thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then it was, yeah, that, and then it split off with Buster and, and Rintero, Blade. right? And that yeah. made mm -hmm. no sense to me because I was like, yeah. Rintero should be able to fight the, one of these by himself. If anybody yeah, needs yeah. fucking help, it's Buster. It's not Rintero helping Buster. Mind you, also, <laughs> also, let's point out that at the beginning of this episode, right, Toma mm -hmm. turns back into just regular Saber because he's contractually yeah. obligated to do that for fucking... I get that, but when he turns into Cross Saber, it, it's like, mm -hmm. where the fuck did that sword come from? Where the, where the fuck mm -hmm. did that sword come from? You just all of a sudden... I don't know, it also didn't help that he could have just turned to cross it and they didn't have to deal with the foot soldier, right? Uh -huh. So he just made people do extra work for no reason, yeah. right? If you technically think about it, mm -hmm. right? Like, like, so it's like he want to have this big, cool group transformation scheme. I was like, mm, nah, everyone has to do a bunch of more work right yeah, now. Yeah, if, you, if so everybody was... Who if, if It's also, it's not solely on, on Toma, let's be fair. Rintero also does not transform into... Like Hyoko Daisenki and and fucking or Hyojo Daisenki and fucking even even in Kento's case he doesn't go full wonder combo like it's mm -hmm. it's nobody goes in at this like full force on a real like goddamn Super Saiyan like fucking like logic of like oh we gotta start yeah. out normal and then work our way up and it's like no you really actually don't have to do that. Like, you really don't. If you could just, like, start out just blowing your uh, way in. But basically, well, what we're trying to say is, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna create, you wanna have your group go in at full force while you're invading, right? Yeah, you wanna right. make you sure wanna that you can get in, out you wanna in, go in, in hard here. and fast, as quickly as possible. While the, yeah. while, while the, go while the, while the, while the guards doing their job, uh, you know, the, you know, mm -hmm. <sighs> Boy, ooh, ooh, boy! I'm gonna pour myself another drink before I go further into this. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Before the Metropolitan Center Area Police doing their job might get killed in the line of fire for trying to fucking. Oh boy! Ooh, ooh. 
It's okay. Take your time. Man, fuck Donald Trump. Yeah, that's fair. Anyway. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, I, uh, I mean, I just wanted to mention my thought real quick. Before. Yeah. I mean, I don't know yeah, if we're yeah. moving past this bit. I swear to God, like, I don't know if you played Kingdom Hearts 3. Austin, I know you have. Yeah, 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 I, I don't have a system yeah. for it. I don't have a system for yeah. it. No, it's. I know it. I know it, but I, I, but I, but I don't have a system for it. So I, I don't know if you're aware. Like, I don't know. Have you watched like gameplay of it or whatever? Because like this whole. I, yeah, segment, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. It's just. It feels like the guy just like, pl- like the uh, the author just played like Kingdom Hearts three and like the ending sequence and decided to put well, it. Well, well, here's the thing that? though. Here's here's the thing though, right? Because Kingdom mm-hmm. Hearts, much like Final Fantasy, is the most fucking anime thing ever. And the thing is, Kamen Rider is also the most anime thing ever, except for being a uh, live-action tokusatsu. So it's not like... Mm-hmm. It's not like... Exactly stealing, like, untouched, hollowed ground by doing what it does. Like, mm-hmm. it's... it's uh, You mean like, like how it's... every an- other anime just does, like, this whole, oh, separating of, of, of the heroes so that... Yeah, you but also even the, even the, even the, like, um... God. Oh, God, I wish you hadn't said King of Hearts, because now I'm seeing parallels. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, my God, there's so many blades! They're all keyblades! Oh! Aqua's! Aqua's Luna! Oh, no! Oh! Uh, Mickey is Mickey is Master Lose. No, he'd be yes, not no, yeah, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. It can't be Kingdom Hearts. Uh, it can't just be Kingdom Hearts. 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 Why would it be Kingdom Hearts? That's too easy. That's too easy. I thought it was the Sixth Samurai from Yu-Gi-Oh, but it turns out it's Kingdom Hearts. And and, and he really gets into Luna's face about it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Right? About... Don't forget the part where he sees... Don't forget the part where he has the dream... He does the whole fucking Luke Skywalker thing. Yeah, hold on. Don't forget the part where he has the dreams... uh, Where he he talks with the dead spirits of his friends. Questioning his fucking ethics. God damn it! (laughs) Again, it's totally not Kingdom Hearts. Oh my god. I just only mentioned it because like in Kingdom Hearts 3, I don't know if it's spoilers or if you even care really, but I'm oh. gonna mention them here just for just to mention why I thought of it. There's this whole thing where like, you, you know, you end up, like they they do that thing where you end up fighting a whole bunch of Heartless again, like an army yeah. of goddamn Heartless yeah, yeah, or yeah, and yeah, nobodies yeah, and shit. Yeah, 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 you yeah, go yeah. through them and then, you know, uh, like there's this big maze. I don't remember why the maze fucking came, but everyone ended up, ends up getting separated and you had to go around and I think help them. Or something. Mm. I, I think, and then then you go off to the fight the big bad, right? Because you know you're mm. sorry, whatever, mm-hmm. fuck, right? And this is I'm just seeing it here, like it, well, the Ant Man are just basically a whole bunch of heartless and nobodies, and then you yeah, get, like, no the shit, the like, heroes separating, and then you get Toma, who would yeah. go off to f- fight the big bad. I mean, yeah. it's just like I mean, this is just a common trope. Yeah, the Keyblade oh. Master. Yeah, I only mention it because it's like it's the most recent example that's popped into my mind, and I haven't seen anime in a while, so it's like oh, that's, that's really sad. Right you should watch Iron Blooded Orphans. <laughs> oh fuck. <well. laughs> Fucking god damn it. You're gonna keep reading this up. God damn it. I've been saying this for six years. Oh like a my fucking god. crazy person. Okay, like, you know, fine. I'll go I'm watch a, it I'm tomorrow a, or something, like, okay? Like, I get it. it I, I've rewatched it maybe four times at this point. Um, That's impressive, actually. Well, it's. I, I, never, I never watch an anime more than once, typically. Uh, well, Kogias, well, typically I don't, but it's like. There's there's two reasons I'll watch an anime twice. One, if well, okay, let me let me okay, let me describe the reasons why I've watched it four times. One, when it was coming out, I would watch each episode like when it came out, which was like it like I had the full Saturday morning cartoon effect because it was coming out on Sundays. After like the fourth episode, I was just waking up automatically like that at like mm-hmm. seven thirty when it would like be simul like subbed. And just be like, I must watch this. And I would watch it. Um, and so I watched it. So simply by that factor, right, I would watch it then. And then afterwards I'd be like, because I'd be waiting in the next week for it. And i go, I gotta watch this again. And then I'd watch the episode again before the next episode came out. Mm-hmm. So just in the running, right, I watched pretty much every episode twice. Then, right, mm-hmm. uh... Then I introduced Molly to it, and I was like, we gotta watch this. 
the god of I, I just like I, I I I want to introduce you to Gundam, but I'm gonna start I'm gonna start high and we'll work our way down, right? <laughs> we we uh-huh. like we'll start at the good shit and we'll get down to fucking Gundam Age. The goddamn the goddamn Gundam series made by Level Five, our good old producers who made fucking Yokai Watch and Professor Layton. They can make character designs that are cohesive, right? Nope. Anyway, um, so, so then I watched the whole thing with her, right? Mm-hmm. And then it came out on Netflix, and oh, now uh-huh. we just watch it whenever the fuck we're bored because it, it's, and we just want something good to watch, something to palate cleanse, something to like take away, mm-hmm. like bad shit, uh, like. Goddamn Gundam Age or Girl Gun Lady, fuck that shit. Um, but anyway, um, so it's like it's something that I think is genuinely good, but it's not something that it's like I I I don't put this on a pedestal just because it's like I think it's a perfect series. I think it's a competent series. I think it doesn't do more than it's trying to do, and it like does what it is trying to do well enough. It is not, and for a Gundam series, it's like you kind of have to weigh it on those values of it's not too much, and that's why I like Iron Blood Overs. Also, it has a great body count at the end. Anyway, um, nice. Uh, yeah. So, I story is so still much. a douchebag. Blah 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 blah. Uh, he talks. He ignores the ghosts of his dead friends, and then Luna decides to say, "Hey, hey." Me too. I say no. Don't touch me. Don't touch us. And Storius yeah. is like, ooh, but no, I won't touch you. Ooh, I might. I won't touch you. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of that going on there. And then mm-hmm. there's okay. Hold on, I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to place the events that we, we went past. We went past Sophia seeing her dead friends, and we were like, okay. I no, guess I'm oh no, we were right. talking about stories. No, let's talk oh, about okay. the weird fairy genies that are, uh, fucking Kento's dad and Daichi Kamijo, uh, coming oh. back out of fucking nowhere. I mean, I understand Kento's alive, dead. Right? I understand Kento's dead. I understand Kento's dead. I understand Kento's dead. Right. But yeah, I don't understand. That... Also. But but the original saber, right, Daichi, right. Mm-hmm. comes back, not wielded. So here's the thing, right? So if you look at it, right, I'm looking at uh, what is this? Like seven minutes in, right? So Sophia yeah. gets knocked out of her transformation. Um, right. Mm-hmm. Or actually, she doesn't even get knocked out of her transformation. She's still just well, in trans. Yeah, yeah, she's, she's still transformed, just, but she goes into like her that. fucking mind palace. Um, which, yeah. let's not even get into, like, the fucking, uh, uh, goddamn philosophy of an artificial human having a mind palace, but whatever. Um, but, like, in her memories of them, I guess, in the way, it's clearly not, it, they make it seem like the, the, the spiritual bodies of them come back to help her. But then when she, but when she's in her mind palace, she's seeing Kento's dad I fucking forget what his name is. I don't care. Uh, mm-hmm. I, I'm gonna say it's Fukumiya something. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. He also has caliber in his hand, and Daichi also has saber, it, like the the Rekka in his hand. Uh, yeah. Like, or sorry, Kuri- I, Jesus fucking Christ, Fuki. Kento's fucking dumbass absentee father uh, has goddamn Kuriyami in his hand. Stupid ass, bullshit, dumbass, fucking second sa- or first saber has Rekka in his hand. There's too many goddamn Japanese terms going on at the same time, and I can't speak English and Japanese at the same time. Anyway, uh, mm-hmm. is like so they're clearly her memories of them, not them as they died or them in their like, like it's not that they're like ghosts coming back to help her. Like, it would make well, sense for Daichi to come back as Saber, because Toma is using the, like, cross sword. Mm-hmm. But he's not. He's not, like, he has the Haoken, but you'd think that that would give a chance for Ghost, like, Daichi to use Rekka and become a second Saber. And then, 
again, there's an extra fucking sword, not caliber, that could have been used. And instead, mm -hmm. uh, Sophia is using Cal like is using Kuriyami's sword. Like it doesn't. Uh, uh, anyway, yeah. So it doesn't make any. It it honestly, it's really questionable as to what's going on because of what has already been established as to. Like, there's clearly a po like a a potential slash semi functional afterlife in this series. But they don't use it? Like, it's not... Mm. Like, that's not what happens here? It's just Sophia gets inspired by the power of friendship? Sure. Sort of. I guess. Right? Because there's that, there's that whole line that Yuri says about uh, Victor, or Tassel. Yeah, right? right, yeah, yeah. He's like, ah, nice, mm -hmm. Victor. You Like, my, my friend did it, and it's like, what are you talking about? Like, what... Victor, huh? Crafty as always. Crafty for giving her hallucinations of her dead friends? Like, that's the because only... Also, Victor's it's... dead, right? So what's... What I mean, is happening? I, I don't know. Like, I have no idea. It's, it's it... like... Because I'm assuming he saved both of them, right? And then I guess he lets them go off to save her at this one moment, and then that's it. Because I don't see them afterwards, right? But also, like, but also, okay. So let's let's try and rationalize this. Let's say, right, that mm -hmm. not even if you die in general, but if you die as uh, a wielder of Kuriyami, not even as a common rider, but as a wielder of Kuriyami, you're transported to the Wonder World, right? And for whatever reason, mm -hmm. you because you died as a wielder of Kuriyami, you still exist as a spirit. Per the will of Victor mm -hmm. slash Tassel, right? Mm -hmm. Right. And you're allowed to have some interaction with the real world, you know, like like uh, Kento's dad did when he came back and like showed up for like a fucking hot second, like. You can have some level of interaction. Why then, mm -hmm. right? Right. After Tassel dies, would Daichi and Fukumiya come back all of a sudden, like, not? actually doing anything and also how would they come back if tassel is dead <sighs> i mean because and it's because, just one of those because my places. issue is right the mm -hmm. issue i have with what uh with what yuri says like right. puts, mm -hmm. it puts onus on tassel slash victor on being the one that like orchestrated them coming to save her. Which mm -hmm. either implies that he's still alive or he planned this before he died. Or, third thing, Yuri's full of shit, which we know for a fact Yuri is best boy and he's never wrong. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, I don't really get, like, I don't get that moment, and and the later on moment where, uh, like, they're still there and, like, help her, I don't really get either. Um, it's, it's just really weird. It's a really weird bit to throw in, and it's really, it's a complaint that we've had throughout this, like, series, but it's like, I need you guys to, like, stay focused for, like, one second and not, like, throw new things at us. Like, and not try to, like, bring up new things that kind of shatter the way that this world works. Yeah. That mm -hmm. would be nice. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> anyway, May finds out that Toma is actually a good employee and uh, fucking has written his book. Um, yeah, he uh, does. He, yeah. yeah, he, he somehow uh, in, in his time managed to write a book. Yeah, About somehow he's managed to write a book. Yeah? I mean, I don't know. I mean, at, at this point, I mean, 
we're finally back to him being an author, right? Yeah. Yes. Also, for, for I to leave a okay, story, okay, remember okay. that he is a story writer. Right. Yeah. Real quick though, before we we get we go move past this, does anyone have, or do we we could save this for theory crafting later on at the end of the episode? But what the fuck is going on with May? Come on, what do you mean? She's just she had I don't know. Okay, no, remember yeah. she had the wonder. Story no, 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 before, no. William's right. William's right. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, because the thing is, she's in the shop in Toma's like bookstore, right? And so, as she's like walking in, she has the Wonder Story book in her in her hands, right? And then she's kind of like, right. "Well, I guess all I can do is wait." And the thing is, during that that bit, she's kind of starting to disappear, right? Yeah. And so like, I see that she's right? glittering and, or whatever, yeah. like mm-hmm. in a similar now, way to Sophia. Yeah, no, the thing is, it's a similar way to, to two other people. So, well, in three total, just to put it out, there's May, Luna, and Sophia. Okay. Uh, technically, so, there's four if you count if you count the fuck doll that Storius made for a hot second. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot about that. It just gets eaten, right, if I remember correctly. Yeah, he anyway. it got eaten, just like Storius did. And then he popped yeah, back out. Yeah, that's still so weird. Um, so the thing is... We know Sophia is based or a construct of Luna. She's Luna's a she's a ancestor. copy. She's a she's one. Well, uh, please remember. Sophia, yes. They, yeah. Do okay. Please, if you remember yes. in the flashback. Yes. She's yes. Sophia. She is. She is. She mm-hmm. is a. She is a. A a not poorly made, but a an imitation an imitated copy of. Uh, of, of Luna's like of Luna. great great yeah. whatever of Luna's, right? great, yeah great of the original the original the original uh like I think I just core of the so Wonder f- World I I, I would they had a term for like, they had a term they for did. they they had a um I'm gonna I'll look it up but anyway keep going yeah bas- basically Sophia Prime there's the first yeah, right for Wonder right. World and then she if I remember correctly she sacrificed herself scattering the the pages of the book across like everywhere right and so from there we know like there that luna is a descendant of sophie of the sophia prime right now i don't recall if maybe she's like if it's due like sophia prime was fucking or like sophia prime was just you know magic whatever the fuck wonder world shit right yeah that's not really asexual stated. reproduction right but that's kind of it. Kind of doesn't matter at this point, really, because we know that Luna is a descendant in some way, shape, mm-hmm. or form. Now, she's disappearing. Okay, it's just, it's just to sorry, World. sorry, just to interrupt. It's just it's just listed yeah. as priestess. It's just like the priestess that connected them to. The that's two. uh, that's an unexpectedly whatever title, honestly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so we get Sophia Prime, blah blah blah, Luna. Right, so yeah. Luna is disappearing because she's tied to Wonderworld, and because Wonderworld is right. encroaching on the real world, apparently they both, like, just both disappear as a result. Right. Whatever, right? And then, so that's why Luna's disappearing. Now, I don't know if it's th- with the same with the, uh, like, the thing is, Sophia's also disappearing as well, our Sophia, because of, I don't because, again, the same thing with Wonderworld. Then you get May. And May is starting to disappear, and I have no idea the fuck why. I don't know if it's because yeah, all no, the, I don't she's get it either. With, like all the other people, or if she has if she's tied in some way to Luna and the Wonder Story, or what. It's very confusing. Yeah, and I'm no, just, I yeah, just don't it, know why. It, hey, boy, wow, the series is very confusing. I don't mean to just like I'm not saying that to discount you. I'm just saying like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't fucking have an answer for that one. Like. That one is genuinely raising a question with me, and I'm like, I don't know where that's going to go, and I'm scared I... that it's even being brought up, because <laughs> mm-hmm. it's like, it's really like, like, again, I thought it would just be a nice, simple thing of like, if we're going to make, uh, like, a, a, a female common writer, right? If there's going to mm-hmm. be a female common writer, we're going to use the, 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 we're just going to take the not to call May's character a low hanging fruit, but to say the mm-hmm. low hanging fruit of hey, this is the female that we've had since the beginning. But instead, mm-hmm. it's like okay, no, Sophia is going to become a common writer. All right, fine. I mean, I can kind of live with May just being like 
a human like witness to all these things, a a passive narrator almost. But mm. then you start doing this stuff where it's like she's like fading away, and I'm like, are you gonna pull some mm-hmm. shit where like at the end she was always God, and we always like we should have known? Like, oh. <laughs> that's like I, <laughs> I, I what are you trying to imply by doing that? Like, what is the point of of adding like? You could have done the easy thing if you wanted to make her special, right? Mm-hmm. Make her, make her a common writer, but don't make her another like a don't like hand over fist force her to be uh, a a part of this like priestess's lineage or something like out of the blue. Like it doesn't make sense. It I'm really entirely... doesn't make sense to just throw that in there. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that's the case, though. Because I'm not sure if this is one of those things where they actually probably built up to this. Because I can remember from previous episodes, they always mentioned Mei as being, like... I remember when you were t- talking to, you know, our long-dead musician friend, Bach, right? Yeah. Um, he... I believe it was either Rentaro or Tomo. Someone said to him that she was probably the... No, it was Yuri. I remember because it was fucking Yuri. I think... Yeah, she, Yuri, Yuri, Yuri was like... Was Yuri's like the best example of humanity. Yeah. Yeah, and I don't know if maybe that's because she's like, I don't, okay, so, quick theory crafting, okay? Mm-hmm. I feel like it's either Luna is for Wonder World, what May is for Earth? Yeah, see, humanity? I was, see, I was, I was curious if that was where you were going. I, mm-hmm. I, I loathe to think that that's the case. Simply for the fact that I don't really understand why she would be that because what they've been implying right Mm -hmm. is that toma like tassel is luna's chosen person right right right, like like tassel Mm -hmm. was the chosen person for luna's ancestor toma is going to be that for luna and right and so if luna is if May is supposed to be like uh, the fucking connection for Earth, it doesn't really make sense for May to be like. I mean, listen, hey, Common Rider's got a lot of LGBT like plus like shit to fucking course correct, but like this ain't that. Like, it doesn't really make sense. I don't know if... Because the thing is... That's only one theory, right? But I feel like mainly... May is going to be like a solution to like... To- the Toma... The Toma dilemma as I would call it, right? Mm-hmm. The whole fact that like, Toma's like... Oh, well to save the world... I gotta go basically be the guardian of Wonder World. I don't know if Luna is gonna... Not Luna, I'm sorry. May. I don't know if May is gonna be... A somehow whatever the fuck solution it, for that. Yeah, if May is know? going to like take the fucking bullet for... For Toma? Sure. Or something. Or but, or because if we're going by the Guardian of... I guess... I don't know. The Guardian is the best word I can come up with. Because you have, yeah. the, you have Luna as for Wonder World. If it's, if it's made for humanity, I don't know if they if they establish that, they're going to say, well, you know. Oh my he, he god. Stay. May, May, then, you know. May in a tassel outfit? Oh my oh, god. shit. <laughs> uh... I don't know. That's uh, but that's that's where it stands at this point. I guess. I guess me. that's I, yeah. That's I, no. I I absolutely understand your theory. It's just I don't I don't want that to be the way that it works out. I just don't I understand don't it. Either. Like it doesn't. If it they... doesn't. It's 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 so out of the blue and like unhinted at. Like if they had said like if they had had one line of like they tried to make May like a sad girl and they were like yeah I grew up in an orphanage and was never adopted. I don't know who my parents are. Like. That one line, right, at any point right. in the show, whether it was an episode ago, which would have been really cheap, or, like, from episode three, where it would have been like, holy shit, the payoff, um, like, right, right. would have been, would, would do so much legwork for this. But that's not what's happening. It's like, why is she, why is she glowing? Why is she fading in and out of reality? What's happening? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Austin just, sounds like uh, he's been dead for a while. I don't know if he, like, went I mean, to go smoke cigs or, like... <laughs> Austin, are you there? Could you imagine if he smoked yeah, cigs? Yeah, I'm there. Oh, my God. I, oh he my might God. be gone. Yeah. Oh, my God. Sorry he might for, be gone. 
Oh my god, so he's gone! The, uh, no! Whoa! We've got free reign! We can do anything we want! Oh, okay, alright, alright. So, listen. Uh-huh. Okay, uh -huh. alright. I'm going with this. Listen, so Sky Striker is a really bad Yu-Gi-Oh deck, alright? And and I need this to be made, like, no. Because it's really stupid, and it keeps fucking coming back. It's made <laughs> out of anime waifus. It's made out of the entire- It's based off of the entire series oh Infinite Stratos, and that's really bad. Oh, they never wait. gave them a husband wait, uh, like, no, no, fucking is it just me? character. And that's really stupid. Austin. Um, oh, it's- It's so fucking bad. He's really gone, isn't he? Wow. Oh That's my god. I boy. can't hear anybody. Hold on, let me. Let me um, blue, 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 blue. Oh, Austin, are you there? Or am I gone? Can I not hear? Okay, I came back. I went to get mango. Okay, I don't know if Did you're aware. My internet? Okay. Call Tariq. What? Alright, so where are we in the episode by this point? <laughs> Okay, we're professionals. We, keep, we, we keep recording. Tariq, I have no idea what happened. Oh, did something happen? I legitimately went to get mangoes because you guys were taking so long. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry. All right, so we're, are we like five minutes into the episode? No, by at this point, we, we were talking about May Hello? and her disappearing act. Or All right, so we're like seven minutes into me? the episode. Hey, 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 we can, we can, can always anyone, uh, boss, uh -oh. boss rush this. Uh-oh, no, uh -oh. can anyone okay, hear me? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, there's so many voices. Help me! Cool fight scene. Help me! irrelevant. To, uh, hello? Yeah? Not, not the irrelevance. Uh, Tetsuo loses. Uh, we hello? get a cool get a cool Hayate and gunshot yeah. scene uh, with the bullet and the, and the three brothers sword. That's cool. Hey, Red Soul. Hey, um, so the most undeserving character to use the Fauci is like, hey, I'm going to use it in this penultimate boss fight instead of using it. I mean, will Toma, hey. does Toma need this more? Does hey, can you guys hear me now? character need this more? Yeah, I can hear you. Need this more? Right? Right, I, I'm gonna use it instead. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm taking cool. this, just, uh, this, this secret weapon for myself. Yeah, it's just all right. Yeah, this, we're, we're, yeah. we're progressing through the episode now. After that yeah, long so, as fuck theory yeah, 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 okay, bit cool, that we cool, just cool. did. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah. so uh, yeah, they it's have, all uh, good. Uh, Yuri and Sophia mm -hmm. beat so a bunch of grunt. Uh, Sophia still might die. Who the fuck knows? Uh, at this point, it's really irrelevant to what happens to her character because her character is completely pointless throughout the series um yeah. hey it turns out the the sages are hey, pretty good or pretty strong uh for characters who have never been completely established within the series or or whatever and yeah. everything yeah um tetsuo might be dead or something i, I don't fucking know luna <laughs> might uh luna might be dying i don't i don't know at this point maybe just reading a book where everyone's dying all right yeah and she's um, dying it turns too out she's Red Red might be an idiot and, and it turns out it turns out that hey, fighting your base form not a good idea. It turns out. What? Yeah, so, for who, some who, reason, who for some reason, you, lose. you would the power you, of the you furry compels you would lose. Oh my yeah. god. Yeah, the the Wonder Twins, uh, they they still exist. Um, they still do their yeah. whatever the fuck they do. Don't worry, we'll see them character. in the movie. Uh, best best scene throughout the series was when I don't I think that it's it's Toma. He's fucking running in the background as the Wonder Twins are fighting. No, right, it was all Ren, right? Oh no, no, it was it was no, it was it was fucking Ren. It was Ren. Ren has the best yeah. scene in the oh, entire what? show for the entire last like five minutes, where he's just everybody is like, because Tetsuo goes, eh, "Go on ahead, I'll catch up later" in typical anime fashion, and then Ren just fucking yeah. books it and is just running in the background of everybody <laughs> really else's does. fucking fight. For like the next five oh. minutes, and it's just like, like they they don't even give him a second like a focus. They don't slow it down. They don't go like, oh, he's doing a dramatic run. He's just Naruto. He's, so he's not even Naruto crazy. running, right? Isn't he just like fucking arms running back he's and so forth, like just chuck, yeah, like chugging along, run. like in the background? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, he's doing the regular like, run. It's it's it right. glorious. Hey, anyway, I fucking love that anyway, anyway, Idris Elba is apparently gonna be good. Knuckles in the Sonic sequel, like, uh, but like. And he cut out again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wait. In the, oh, as Knuckles. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I yeah remember that, but yeah. like. Yeah. Oh my God! I can't believe it's gonna be great. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, can't it's believe. It's just wild I to me. I can't believe. I can't believe they fucking did that. It's just... yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, can't talk about Red finally sees <laughs> something. Yeah. What they should have been since the beginning, instead of having Red fight with Tetsuo for no absolute reason. Hey. Uh. Hey. Uh. And, but it turns out. Hey. Hey Ren, uh, hey Ren, you want to use that? You want to use that Fauci sword? That's a pretty good sword. Doesn't want to do that. Uh, but good thing May is in a city where no other people are out in public, and she finds a fucking girl uh, passed out on the street and everything. Yeah. Also, good, good thing, thing that Ren just was in quarantine. Good thing Ren just left the Fauci sword like there, just there. 
Nah, look, yeah. look, hey, Tess Hall can't can use it, all right? Yeah, that's all that matters. I mean, either either that happens or like you're just. Gonna, uh, it might be, it might have to be but, used to fucking save him because they just. I don't. They really just like shoehorned in like he, yeah he might die. Yeah, but it's just like I mean as uh, I felt bad for Tess. I'm not gonna be I'm not gonna be honest with you. I did feel bad for him like when he's like. You know, presumably dead. But then you get like the scene of Yuri at the at the end, and it's just like, yeah, he's just gonna heal him. He can just put his hands on him. He was just like, hey, you good? Or yeah, Yuri right, will go. die to keep him alive, which would be which would be I a would fucking be travesty off. because be- because yeah, then then be because of one of the then one of the best characters would die to keep one of the other best characters alive. Let's be real. Mm-hmm. Tetsuo is fucking hilarious because he's just like a weirdo, like like he just yeah, like. Uh-huh flips a switch when he oh, transforms yeah. and, like, starts screaming. Uh, and also, he, like, kind of has, like, a low-key, like, uh, you know, social anxiety. And then it's, like... Right. And then we've got, like, Yuri, who is... who has absolutely no fucking idea how to interact with humans. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty great. But... Um, if I'm recalling yeah. correctly, uh, everyone, it, might be I mean, all, you know, all, everyone, not, everyone might be dying. Everyone, know, everyone's dying. Great characters, but like, uh, everyone, everyone might be dying. You know, but you, you know, something's yeah, yeah, everyone's happen. probably dying. I mean, if they if they kill them all off, then I'm like, well, that's They're... uh pretty ballsy. I'll be I'll be impressed if they did that, but I doubt. I don't think. I don't, don't think. Like they're, I don't think they're Are you think just gonna randomly start killing characters off in the last episode? All of a sudden, characters that they established to be important just for them to kill off pre- pre- preemptively for no reason. Uh huh. That yeah. would be stupid. I don't think they've ever they killed off. A, they've <laughs> never killed off a whole cast. That? They've never killed I off mean, a whole cast. I mean, they could kill off the whole cast and then bring them back once Toma wins. You know. That could be a thing. Hopefully, it's well, not. All went into it could... Yeah, within two. Look, oh, at man. this point, if I wouldn't only, doubt it. If I only they could have introduced some kind of multiverse that would allow them to like, like some sort of like what if situation, some sort of some sort of what if scenario where we could all figure out it, like what would have happened if. Hmm. Yeah, I know where I know that reference. I understand. But mm-hmm. um, oh, okay. Well, hey, we, did, w- hey, look out for uh, <laughs> look out for uh, uh, what is, is it? Anyway? Uh, what if? Oh. Yeah, uh, okay. you keep talking. I'll tell you when to look out for a thing. So, how did you? Hey, Austin, awesome. okay. how did you feel about uh, Ren's totally yeah. fucking anime as fuck uh, battle? What? It's probably the most. Why well, don't? It's probably the most anime or like. Energetic battle. Oh no! Scene well, yeah, scene. I said it. Like he, like, Tetsuo does a stupid anime gunshot, no, but, and he triggers the no, three yeah, 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 but how did you feel about it? Like, did you think it worked? I mean, it's pretty. The effect like, was fine. I'm not entirely sure it worked, right? Because it's not, like I get the intention, but it kind of feels a little off, right? I think it's probably just because it's just using live action characters to me, really. It's fine. It's whatever. I don't know. Also, yeah, like, yeah. Anyway, so uh, three sages are uh, all the four are uh, still pretty good. Uh, no one's still winning this. I know it's still winning. Apparently today. Uh, hey, like, uh, check oh, your Marvel. Really? Hey, check your Disney Plus now. Uh, check your Disney Plus now for the What If episodic series oh. from Marvel. There it is, and I've edited it. Okay, I'll watch it later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, um, everyone might die next episode. Who knows? Yeah, maybe it's right, the story that Tomo wrote, and then she's like, "Okay, I have to do something now." Although I really wish I wanted, I wanted to see what that story said to make yeah, him do that. But <laughs> oh no! Did you get, oh oh, look, oh look, god! Look, we've been all about expansive media within this. Within this, who knows? They might actually release Thomas' stupid book as an actual hold book at some point. Hold on! Who hold on! Hold on! Hold on! Really funny. Hold on! Hold on! Okay. Can Can you imagine? Uh-huh. Everybody might. Uh, hold on! Hold on! Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna have to. Cl- I think this is gonna be the closing statement for the for this episode. So everybody might die next oh, episode. Okay, and, and it's, Wait, it's truly you, are, are, it's, it's it that could truly be sad. But luckily, Tom has written his last novel, just in case uh, uh, he dies before he's able to come back. You might even call his final novel his death book. I swear to God. 
I mean, I could have called it the world's longest suicide I note, mean, but I didn't go with you that. You could have, but good God. <laughs> Holy shit. And then everybody died. DM. Listen, I was such... this close to not saying it, but then you didn't give me the <laughs> the fucking the thunderous applause that I wanted for my goddamn I mean, Death Note look, joke. So no I had to do it. You. It's your fault, William. You're the it's reason I like this. Oh, I learned it from you. You did what? it. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, fucking, fucking. Oh, wait, hold on. May goes out. We have, the, we have all those fights where everyone's basically fucking losing. Yeah, yeah we, we already Ren, covered through all that. Right. Ren comes up. He's like, okay, I'm going to team up with Kento. And then, you know, together. Yeah, we literally like just cover moment. all this. Uh, I know. I'm, re I'm, re I'm going over again, okay? Well, we don't need to go over this one. I'm we going, went I'm over, going over my, the sake of my mind, just so I know that we talked no, about no, something. Yeah, but nobody For cares what? about your mind. For my head? I need to know. <laughs> Oh, anyway, that's this week's episode. Um, hey, next up, hey, look, two episodes left of this series, technically three, but I don't think the 40th episode matters because it's a fucking uh, post post series episode that they're releasing. Wait, is it? So technically, it does it end? Yeah, does it end next it episode? It ends at 47. It there's only 47 episodes, but there's a post 48th episode. All right. Okay. All right. So yeah. So yeah. So technically. Technically, there's two episodes left, and then there's a DLC expansion episode. Nice. Oh, perfect. All right. Yeah. All right, that's this week's episode. Uh, coronavirus is still a thing. Uh, wash your hands, wear a mask. Get your uh, fucking Kate shots. Thinks, oh, get, yeah, get your shots. Kate, thanks, bye.